We're running along the foreshore near the river mouth and see a crocodile slide in. The water's clear enough to follow it. He's not impressed with us at all. It's clear. This is a wonderful opportunity to film the croc underwater, and so I lower my camera in. It's a safer way to film a croc, but difficult because of refraction. I have to guess the angle and hope I have the croc in frame. Okay, slow down. Yeah, it's coming up. Turn around. Yeah. It's not again. No, it's not again. I'm going to go in. OK? Let's go for it now. Now I can see what the camera is recording. The croc's releasing air bubbles as it rises to breathe. What's it look like, Ben? It looks good. About two metres long and very quite not, not aggressive, I don't think, at all. Mm -hmm. Why are those jaws open? I'm not too happy about this. I think he's warning me to back off. Thanks, Nick. There you go, you get oh, some good stuff. Oh, look, beautiful, yeah. beautiful, yeah. And very tame, just the way he sits on the bottom. Yeah, right. And not aggressive. I, I, I don't think he'd have a go at you. Yeah, right. Really, really beautiful croc. Excellent. The same croc attacked a girl six years later. I'm cruising past Turtle Point, running alongside an algae slick, when fins slicing the surface catch my eye. It's a manta ray. They normally feed on plankton, but here they're following the algae slick. They're not bothered by my boat drifting close alongside. It is a crocodile, and a big one too, coming in to check out all the commotion. He's more interesting, so I swing the boat to meet him.